Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. This week, we're in Grand Cayman talking everything shore diving. Roll intro. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time on our channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and clicking the little bell icon and that way you'll never miss any of our great content because here on Divers Ready, I use my years of expertise as a professional diving instructor to help make you a better diver. We share hints and tips videos, we do product reviews and we go to beautiful exotic places like Grand Cayman and give you the best way to dive here. Later in this video, I'm gonna be giving you seven factors to consider if you're thinking about taking your first steps into shore diving. But first, let's go over the benefits I think one of the most pleasing aspects of shore diving is it's cheap and um, for good reason. Obviously, if you're diving from a boat, you've got to pay for the captain, you've got to pay for the dive master, you've got to pay for the fuel and cover a lot of expenses, which is why a typical two tank boat dive runs you somewhere between 80 and 120 dollars, certainly in this part of the world. Now, with shore diving, if you have all your own equipment, normally you just have to rent your tanks and wait and off you go. So, for example, one of the iconic shore dives here in Grand Cayman at the Macabuca restaurant will cost you 12 dollars to rent a tank and as much lead as you need. And I think it's about the same here at Dive Tech as well, but don't quote me on that. Another awesome thing about shore diving is you are on your schedule. If you're not a morning person and the thought of like a 7.30 boat meetup horrifies you when you're on vacation, then shore diving is absolutely for you. You rent your tanks, you rent your weights, and you decide what dive time is. When my wife and I were in Kona, Hawaii, we did a couple of boat dives to get to sites that weren't accessible from the shore, but the majority of the diving we did was shore diving and we were on our own schedule. If we felt like doing one, two, three, four dives a day, it was entirely up to us. Fully equipped and self-reliant, had the hire car anyway, and off we went. And the third benefit of diving from shore is that you can actually do sites that boats don't serve. So for example, the shore dive here at Dive Tech, you've got a few options for entry. It's about a 300 yard swim out to the shallow reef, and then another 300 yards again to the main wall. So it's very easy to hit these sites and you don't need a boat to do it. So as I promised at the start of this video, I'm gonna now give you seven factors to consider if you're thinking about taking your first steps into shore diving. So factor number one to consider is wherever you are in the world, get local information. And most dive shops will be absolutely happy to share with you the hot spots and tips and tricks. But it's especially important to find out what the local regulations are about shore diving. Is shore diving even permissible? And if so, do you need a flag? Do you need to have a DSMB up? What are the regulations? All those little insider hints and tips you can find out from your local dive shop. So make sure to check in with them. You're gonna need to rent tank and weights anyway. And also remember to check the conditions, especially in regards to current. Factor number two when planning a shore dive is before you get in the water, make sure you know how you're gonna get out of the water. Here at Dive Tech, there's two ladders and a set of stairs here, which makes it very easy for both entry and exit. But before you do a giant stride off a pier that has no ladder at all, make sure you've got an exit strategy. So step number three is once you've got your exit figured out, you can then go ahead and plan your entry. If the shore dive is from a beach, you're probably just gonna be walking in through the sand. If you're a hotspot for shore diving like I am right here, you can see that multiple entry points are provided for you, so the choice is yours. Factor number four to consider when starting out in shore diving is fin selection. Why does fin selection matter if you're diving from a shore? What's different from diving from a boat? Protecting your feet while you're entering and exiting the water. If you're diving from a beach and it's soft, silky sand, there's no problem using full foot fins and exiting and entering barefoot. But if you've got to walk across volcanic lava or crushed coral, you absolutely want to be wearing booties and have open heel fins to make sure that your feet are protected. Because if you walk across that barefoot, I guarantee you're gonna cut your feet to ribbons. Step number five is consider where you're gonna kit up and de-kit. Again, established shore diving places like here in Grand Cayman have benches that you can set your gear up on, put it on real easily, do your buddy checks and then enter the water. And after you dive, take your gear off real easily and your gear is secure. If you're in more remote locations, like as I mentioned earlier with Hawaii, uh, my wife and I were using tree branches or the trunk of our car or whatever we could really to secure our gear while we were putting it on and taking it off. What I will tell you though is it's really hard to put a set a scuba gear down on the beach, put it on, and then get to your feet on loose sand. So if you are shore diving from a beach, one option if the surface conditions allow you, 
would be to put your kid on in shallow water. So factor number six to consider when shore diving, navigation. Are you gonna enter and exit from the same point? Or are you gonna do a one directional shore dive? Meaning you're gonna enter the water at one point, drift with the current and exit somewhere else. In which case, how are you getting yourself and your gear back to your starting location where presumably your transportation is parked? All other factors about any dive regarding navigation still apply to shore diving, including making sure you start the dive into the current if you're planning to return and making sure that you do the deepest portion of your dive first. Looks like we're about to get some rain, so I'm gonna to get to number seven and then we're gonna get out of here. Last but not least, factor number seven is make sure you secure your possessions. You're still gonna to need to leave your keys and wallets somewhere unless you take a dry bag with you underwater, which let's be honest, I've never fully trusted a dry bag in my life ever. You're gonna to need to find a place where you can secure your possessions. Obviously you can lock your phone and your wallet in your car, but then what do you do with your car key? And most car keys these days are electronic, so you can't take that diving with you. So you need to have a plan for where you're gonna secure your valuables. There you go, that's it. It's all yours now. Everything I know about shore diving is now there for you part of the public record seriously though if you enjoyed this content what would really make my heart feel all warm and fuzzy is if you were to jump on that subscribe button and click the little bell icon that's one way you can let me know you like it the other way is to give me the thumbs up if you didn't enjoy this video don't forget to click the thumbs down button twice and let me know in the comments below have you been shore diving have you been thinking about it what's been putting you off have i laid any of your fears to rest interspersing boat dives to sites that i absolutely want to get to with shore dives is one way to make my diving vacations a little bit more economical so I've got some more time in Grand Cayman. I'm gonna be making more of these videos. I hope you're enjoying them. It's my first time here and it is truly a diver's paradise. So I think what I'm gonna do now is go crack a cold one and enjoy what's left of this sunset and also go find some shelter because there's a huge rain cloud coming. Until next time, my name's James. This is Divers Ready. Dive safe, dive often.